Frances McDormand had brought the book Women Talking to, to my partner Dee Dee's attention. And um, I remember um, reading the book and feeling like I had never read anything like this, that it was something that felt at once completely timeless and almost had like an ancient wisdom about it, and yet it felt extremely current. Um, and uh, it just felt like one of those things that that we had the, um, we felt moved, we felt compelled to try and to bring it to, to fruition. I really can't say enough about Dee Dee's commitment, generally as a producer, um, and the way that she is able to um, fight intensely for the director's vision, in this case, Sarah Polly's vision, and her passion for this project and her her commitment to getting what the story is about um, rendered in the way that Sarah was able to render it was a really exciting thing for for me and and Brad Pitt, our other partner, to to witness. In Sarah's case, there's a there's a boundary breaking quality to her work. Um, from a cinematic perspective, from a formal perspective, um, the feeling that she would bring something unexpected and, and, and new to this material, and yet it was rooted in like the most, um, the most basic and like primal human questions, um, things that are so universal and, uh, you know, uh, that apply to everybody that are instantly recognizable to people wh wherever you are. Um, her films always struck us as having those qualities, and needless to say, we're very lucky that's something that she felt a, a passion to do. Faith plays a really strong role in the film generally and in the decision-making process. What's it, it, interesting is that everyone's faith leads them to interpret what to do in a different way. Faith can be used to justify any of the possible prescriptions for action, as it has been, um, you know, in many instances. So faith is both something that's collective, but also highly individual, which is another incredible thing about the film. It's hard to put into words how Hilder's music accompanies and elevates the film. It's a character in the film, it's almost like unimaginable to think about the film without it at this point. It, I feel the score um, takes you through the wide spectrum of emotion that the film captures. Um, you know, it takes you to really at times, you know, dizzying heights of, of beauty and, and communion and fellowship between the characters. And also like, um, the despair at times of like how hard it is to change anything, but also there's a tremendous sense of possibility in the score that like a new world is possible. It is so tightly wound. There's no excess in the film. It is so sculpted. It is so masterfully um, calibrated. Um, it feels like not, not, a, not a moment was wasted and what Sarah and Didi and, and Fran um, have done uh, as, as a team, as filmmakers and producers, is, is really remarkable. It's good that the film is so honest and so, and so trusts in, in the actors and in the story it's telling. It doesn't rely on any gimmicks. Um, it's extraordinarily confident. It is... Um, truthful to the range of human experience and the complexity of human experience. There is so much craft in this film. It is, it is not something that is, um, it, it needs to be absorbed and it, and it is the kind of film that sticks with you for, for quite a while. And I feel like the, the, the space that a movie theater holds is the best way to experience you know, the filmmaker's intentions.